Guys, it can't be just me. I feel like everybody sleeps on white chocolate macadamia nut cookies, but not us. We're gonna try to make them as good as my sister remembers. They were her childhood favorite. Let's do it. Quinda said they were his favorite too. The pressure's on. We got it. The only notes they had at the show were raw macadamia nuts, so we're gonna roast them to get all that flavor out first. On. Set your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and then roast these for like eight to 10 minutes until they're just nicely brown. Don't burn them. It's easy to do. Go and in. While those roasts will prep our butter, we need one full cup of butter. <coughs> I think that it would be really delicious if you chose to brown this butter, but traditionally, it's just melted. Stunning. Let me know if you try it with brown butter, though. Sounds delicious. We'll prep the dry ingredients. We need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. One, two, and a half. In. A half teaspoon of baking soda. In. And a half teaspoon of baking powder. Oh, yeah. This is a new one. In. <laughs> half teaspoon. In. So I always use salted butter. So I just add kind of like a pinch of salt like that. But you can add like three quarters of a teaspoon of salt if you're using unsalted butter. All right. The last dry ingredient, don't skip this. It's cornstarch. It'll keep the cookies super soft in perpetuity. I don't do this with all cookies, but I think with macadamia nut white chocolate cookies, it's perfect. In. Perfect. Wait your turn. I'm just going to use the trusty bowl for this one, but you can use your KitchenAid if you want. Add your one full cup of melted butter in. One cup of brown sugar. Make sure your brown sugar is fresh and it's not all dry and crumbly. In. And then just a half cup of white sugar. In. Give it a mix until it's light and fluffy. This is easier with a mixer, but totally doable by hand too. Have a look. From this to this. Stunning. Now we need two eggs. Please rate this crack. Come on. In. That was a good one, come on. No shell. I'm excited for those reviews. Two teaspoons of vanilla. One, two, in. And then this is a take it or leave it, but I like to add just a dash of almond extract. Just like the tiniest little bit. In. Give it a mix until it's nice and combined and creamy. You wanna make sure it's well combined, but you don't wanna overwork your eggs because that'll result in stiff cookies. Nobody wants stiff cookies. Have a look. From this to this. Cookies are the best. They're just so easy. Now we're just going to gradually add in our dry ingredient. <laughs> Careful. A little bit at a time. In. Mix. And again. In. Mix. Last bit. In. Mix. From this to this. Stop mixing just before all the flour disappears. We got to add in the good stuff. Chocolate. We need one cup of white chocolate chunks. Whoa. Is that enough? I think I need one more half of a bar. That should be just fine. Yeah. And these go right into the cookie butter now. In. Almost. My nuts are perfectly roasted. Chop them up. Nailed it. Guys, these smell so good. Right in. In. Shh. In. One last mix. From this to this. Mm. Now you can chill this batter for 24 hours if you want and it'll just keep getting more flavorful. Of course, I don't have that kind of time, so I'm just going to do half an hour. Go in. In. Rest well. Okay. It's been half an hour. Preheat your oven to 350 now. And we got to make these into bowls. Like this big, though. I like my white chocolate macadamia nut cookies to be bigger than regular chocolate chip cookies. Do you guys agree with me? Also, depending on how long you've chilled these for, they're going to spread out more if you've chilled them for less time. So account for that. On. Stunning. I'm just gonna bake these four giant cookies first and see how they spread and we'll go from there So 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. Keep an eye on them. No one likes overbaked cookies. Get on in Put your batter back in the fridge while they bake and I'll be right back. With I'm so excited on Just have a look at them Stunning now I have to put these on a cooling rack and bake the rest But here's the recipe for the best white chocolate macadamia nut cookies ever Please try this and if you use the brown butter, let me know what you think. I might try that next time. Shall we have a cheeky taste? Which one? This one. This one. And get Quinn to try it with us. Come on. Split this with me. All right. Perfect cookie. Down the middle. Ooh, baby. I think I nailed it. Come on in. The real question is here, is it better than a Subway white chip macadamia nut? Because those are up there. If you say no. <laughs> Out of 10? Might be history making. I think it's a 10.
Guys, we did it. We got the 10. Now you have to try this recipe. I'm buzzing. They're so soft. They're just slightly different in their taste than a regular cookie with that almond extract in them. 10 out of 10. Yeah, no, I'm happy. Those are not real. <laughs> you guys are going to love this recipe. I got to go to volleyball now. I'm bringing everyone cookies. You're welcome.